Hi, this is Aaron again. We're walking you still through the CF20 Tough Book and just getting it ready for first time use. Uh, once you're in the PC dashboard, once you have all your touch settings customized how you want it to, I strongly suggest you going over to this support tab and launching the manual selector. Now, when you first launch your CF20 Tough Book, it will just have the on screen manuals or update the on screen manuals. Uh, initially, you'll need an internet connection, but I strongly suggest you downloading the update for your on-screen manuals, getting those downloaded, because as soon as you have that, you'll have your reference manual, and it'll be on your hard drive. You won't need an internet connection to check it, uh, and this will be able to uh, answer a lot of your own questions. You'll be able to troubleshoot yourself. Um, it has a lot of helpful things like key combinations, uh, different key combinations that help you navigate quicker. Uh, helps you set up your tablet buttons, helps you figure out how to use the port replication, battery charger, etc. Just There's a lot of useful stuff in this manual. I know all, all devices come with, oh, read the manual first, but I strongly suggest you going through this because you'll find out a lot of different things that I can't show you in, in different videos, and you'll get a lot more functionality out of your tough book. Then after you get that and you, and you read that, read through that, I strongly suggest you going over to the control panel, and this is just a Windows thing, not quite a tough book thing, but it is a um, critical part of using a tablet. So you go right click, control panel, and I'm sorry, right click on the Windows icon down there, and so like I said, this is a um, Windows based option, but you can change your display, uh, you can make texts larger but when you, whenever you come over here so your control panel appearance personalization and display you can change the font size of different things around your windows navigation so say for instance title bars this is a 10.1 uh, inch display on the cf20 so it's not tiny but it's not altogether huge so if you don't have as good eyes as some other people you might want different things at different sizes so just for reference i'm going to put that as 20 and bold and you'll see that now all windows, when I open that up, will have a large font size bold. I'll switch that back to 9 because I do appreciate the smaller um, size. You can also do stuff like, like menus if, if you wanted to do a large size and see just the menus larger. And that pretty much was the same menu that I just opened right clicking on that window. Now you can see that the font size is a lot bigger and a lot more uh, visible. Also, you can change display settings. Obviously, you can dumb down the resolution so things will automatically become bigger if you were going to um, change that around. So, pretty much the... Oh, I'm sorry. One last thing. So, if your customized display, you saw how I just clicked through that, you can use this scroll wheel, and that will automatically change the... Uh, or adjust the size of the entire theme display. So, you have icons, font, everything all at once. So those are two things that I would strongly suggest right off the bat, um, getting it set up for when you initially start your CF20. Uh, we'll touch on a few other things in another clip. Bye-bye.